Welcome to go through the winners and losers of this week, and there's plenty of nominations, including William Ragg, the senior Tory MP, who admitted his involvement in a honey trap sexting scandal that pretty much engulfed Parliament this week. Um, he's not going to have the whip removed. And by the way, Chancellor Jeremy Hunt, what did he say? He called him courageous for coming out. Mm. So in fact, Tory leaders mm. are celebrating his so-called bravery because I guess nothing says bravery. <laughs> bravery, like looking at willies and sending your mate's number to a potential spy, eh? <laughs> so uh, guys, winner or loser, William uh, Rag or Willie Rag, as I like to call him. I think he shouldn't have been doing anything that he was actually going to be ashamed of in the first place. So, yeah, a loser, in my opinion, because if you're open about your sexuality, you wouldn't have to be blackmailed to tell your tale. You know, you should be open about who you are. Yeah, not only that, not only... I agree with you that he is a loser. Yeah. Um, I can understand why some people are uncertain about their sexuality, but I yeah. think he made such a massive error. He was the one who sent his naked pics to the guy on Grindr. Yeah. And then when the guy on Grindr said, I'm going to share this with everybody, he starts giving out phone numbers? Well, because That's... he knew who he was and he started to blackmail But him. that is not in any way courageous. That is awful. That's he why just... I say he's a loser. Yeah, <laughs> everybody. That is awful. So, Justin, what, he's why... He's taking everyone down with him. Why are Tory MPs rallying around him so much? Because as an isolated incident, doing that as an MP, putting your own security at risk is one thing. And for me, that's a sackable offence, right? Yeah. And then the second incident of dishing out your mates and your colleagues' phone numbers for them to also get stung. Why that's did, another offence. So why, why are they running around? certain people's numbers? Yeah. Think, this is what I think. If you had a database, i.e. your uh, phone contacts book, yeah. and, uh, you know, and you're doing this sort of stuff, let's say you had a company selling conservatories, I would only give you the numbers of people that are homeowners, wouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So it's more about, like, you know, yeah, why did he give them this? the list of names. Yeah. Like, the... What are they up to? The kind of, like... He thinks they're oh, into it. He's doing them a favour. He's a good wingman. <laughs> no, that's yeah. a really good He's point. He's exposed them in All the names way. of those people, they all fit into one particular yeah. group in that man's mind. So yeah. what have they all got in common? Well, well they're, they're all flattering him a lot, so he must be very good at something. He must know a lot of I think there were straight, straight MPs as well, though, because there was two... Um, are they, though? Two scammers. There was a, a gay scammer called Charlie who was sending and asking for um, pictures of willies. And there was a, a female scammer, probably the same person or uh, the same group, I called Abby, person, yeah. who was texting straight MPs and uh, sending I mean, these, female pictures. These people run the country. They're susceptible to the Nigerian oh, prince no. scam on email. Oh, Do you know what I mean? It's, it is ridiculous that somebody of a public figure or an MP of that high level would be just randomly texting someone on a dating app. Like, I feel like if you're going to do something like that, go to a professional. I think it's just the safest option, no? Why would you just A professional be sex worker. Well, I'm assuming that would be a better option for them in, well, in I always coming say out that. in the newspaper. <laughs> I mean, it is just now they're open to all these scandals of blackmail. It's, and it's it such would a, have been avoided if they had just gone to a professional. A I'm just saying. You're right, you're saying it, you're saying it, but you shouldn't even be sending it to Grinder. Some no. of them are replying to an anonymous number. I know. So an anonymous <laughs> number said, oh, do you remember me? And one of them was like, oh, I didn't want to be rude and say no, so I sent them a picture of my junk. I don't know how that works. Oh.